What's good, peeps? Thanks as always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button. If you guys are new, don't forget as well, please to like and share the vids. Again, thank you so much to everyone that continues to do that. It does help the channel a lot. You can also support the channel as well. I do have a Patreon account. The link is in the description. All right, let's continue our What Next series and let's go to the middleweight division and discuss what next for the current IBF middleweight champion, Gennady Golovkin. Triple G. We kind of know what is next. I mean, he will have his mandatory next. They're looking at February or March for that. I'm not overlooking that, but I'm more looking at what happens after that. Um, that mandatory, I can't remember his name, but he did fight on the undercard of GGG's most recent fight against Derevichenko. Um, his name is skipping me for some reason. But yeah, so GGG will fight him in February or March. So I'm looking at what happens after that. Um, GGG's obviously changed a lot recently. Abel Sanchez, long-term Trainer has gone, been replaced by Jonathan Banks. Um, it's been two fight cards, I think, with Jonathan Banks and hasn't looked great in either, if I'm honest with you. I know it takes time for a, a trainer to kind of bed in what he wants his fighter to do, but it's not been it's not been great. I mean, that last fight against Derevichenko, um, that's the first time watching GGG where I was actually scared he was going to lose. Like he was on the back foot and there was a, there was a moment in that fight where I thought he was going to get stopped. Um, so he's clearly no longer the GGG that I fell in love with sort of 2014, 2015. He isn't that guy. And I do think it's a case of him hanging on. He will leave Big Bear as well. He's no longer training in Big Bear. I don't know if it's just for this camp or sort of going forward, but he has linked up with uh, Victor Conte. So he's going to be training in more sunnier climates than Big Bear. Um, so I'm guessing less road work, more kind of sprint and explosive stuff. So yeah, he's changing up things, which is good, right? He's almost realised that he's playing catch-up. A lot of people have been doing that. I remember GGG done an interview recently. I think it might have been, I say recently, probably before the Derevichenko fight. And he spoke about not even doing things like strength and condition and nutrition. So he's just been training like some fucking fighter in the 60s. He's been backwards in his method of training. So again, it's, it's too late now, but better late than never to turn to kind of turn that page and try different methods. Um, I think GGG should go to 168. I've been screaming for the rooftops about him going to 168. I actually thought GGG, and I've probably said this before, but I actually thought GGG would be doing what Canelo is doing now. So 168, even 175. I, I honestly thought he was, and not just compete in those divisions, but I thought he was going to destroy a few people up there. So it's um, crazy to still see him fighting at 160, where he clearly struggles with the weight. I mean, the last three or four uh, GGG fights at 160. Go and check the video footage or even photos from the scales. He looks awful on the scales. So I don't know what he's doing uh, fighting at 160. I really don't. But I'm, I would hope that he goes to 168. Their master plan, and I say they, I'm, I'm including GGG, maybe even Canelo and DeZone, is that Canelo obviously fights Billy Joe Saunders in May, beats him for the 168 title. Then him, G, him and GGG have a trilogy in September for 168 pound belt. That's really what they want to do. GGG doesn't want to fight Charlo, doesn't want to fight Andrade. Um, he doesn't really want to fight a mover at this stage of his career. Let's be honest. I mean, he's not the best mover. So anyone that moves is going to cause him a problem. In San, uh, Derevchenko doesn't move and he caused him a big problem as well. So GGG is there for the taking. And as a GGG fan, that's actually, um, that's actually quite a scary fault. If um, this master plan doesn't come into fruition. So if he doesn't get the Canelo fight in September, then he has to jump up to 168 and um, he has to fight Callum Smith. Callum Smith's been asking for this fight for about a year now, talking about the possibility of GGG versus him at Anfield. Why not? Why not go up and try and get another belt in another division? Um, I think he should do it. Um, if GGG is somehow, I'm not going to say scared, I don't think GGG will be scared, but if GGG is a bit apprehensive about going up to 168 and fighting Callum Smith. He only has to put the DVD on. Is it still a DVD? Probably not. But he only has to press a button and watch um, the Callum Smith versus John Ryder fight. Um, there should be no fear whatsoever about GGG fighting Callum Smith. I just don't think Callum Smith's that good. I, I don't. Um, and that's not, I don't even think it's a case of, oh, it's a one-off bad performance. I, I just don't think he's that good. And I think GGG will beat him. So I think that should be the option. So if it's not Canelo, and look, you can understand why he wants that, just not even for revenge, and it, that would be high on his mind, but just for the money, right? Fucking Canelo GGG in September is big bucks, big bucks. 
But if not, then go to or come to uh, England, fight Callum Smith, get that belt, and then you know decide what you want to do after. Um, but yeah, those are I think these two biggest options. And look, this is not even me looking past um, Billy Joe Saunders, by the way, because Billy Joe Saunders obviously has to fight Canelo. But really and truly, I think Canelo is going to win that fight. So Canelo in September, if not Callum Smith. Callum Smith's likely to fight Danny Jacobs in April. I don't know if Callum Smith can even win that one. He doesn't want the Danny Jacobs rematch. So I'm thinking if Callum Smith wins his fight, Callum Smith. If Canelo wins his fight, Canelo. Any other option right now at this stage of his career, it's just not worth it. What do you guys think? Let me know. Peace.